Good morning, guys. How's it going? I'm wanting to do a little video just so I can kind of show you what's going on outside in my garden. Kind of just an update, but also for myself so I can look back down the road and go, oh, okay, that's what I was growing in December and just to see how it kind of progresses along. So I'm going to take you with me. So let's go check it out. We're out on my front porch right now. I do have a few little herbs that are growing in here. My parsley is doing well. Had a bunch of cilantro that popped up. There's some oregano that's actually still hanging on from last season. And this is some lemon thyme, which is so good. It's like on chicken or pork. And these are daisies that are, have hung on since the fall. My poinsettia is still kind of kicking. And these are irises. I actually transplanted these from my old house and they're doing really well here and they're actually starting to bloom. Those are the first blooms of the season. And then there's some sage there and then mint that, you know, that does just really good up here. I don't think you can really even kill that stuff. And then here's some citronella that's struggling, some sage. I brought some of my transplant or my little seedlings out here. These are all herbs I'm starting. They need some sunshine. Over here, there's some cyclamen. My rosemary is doing amazing. And this is some lemongrass that's struggling. I th probably need to transplant that. And then let's come over here. There's some more rosemary down here. It's a big lavender plant that's doing really well. And then some Mexican oregano. There's some more irises. They're actually hanging on. Those, no um, sprouts on them. This is a hollyhock I transplanted. Actually, from I saved a bunch of seeds from my old house and brought them here and they're doing well. This was really big, it's a climbing rose, but the rabbits got it. And over here, I have a bunch of red hot pokers. I transplanted all of these as well. And then there's a, a rose bush that I just put in the ground. Probably need to change my flag. More hollyhocks, more pokers. And then on the back side of this whole entire wall, I lined it with hollyhocks and sunflowers. So they should be popping pretty soon. And then let me take you to my vegetable garden and show you that. Oh, I guess I left my gate open last night, which just sucks. We have to put these horse panels up because we have Catalina so bad, they come in here and destroy everything. And I usually close this up at night, but I must have forgot last night. But anyway, I have a bunch of lettuce that's all started to bolt. I don't know why, because the weather has been decent for them, but they're not doing very well. I have some uh, parsley over here, and then, oh, I had a bunch of spinach. Something came in and ate it. What the heck? There was a whole bunch of spinach there yesterday. Probably the birds. And then I have some thyme in here. And there's spearmint trying to come back in this little pot. And then down in here, I have a bunch of carrots. And then I have a bunch of raised beds over here. Here is my Brussels sprouts. They actually produced really well this season. They're about to come to an end. And then we'll come over here to these beds. These are all my snap peas. They've done really, really well. And this is all my broccoli. You can see there's still a bunch of little baby heads on it. I've harvested all the big heads, but sometimes these baby ones even taste better than the big ones. And there's still quite a few in here, so. We'll harvest those here soon. And then on this side, there's more snap peas. And then this is my last bed right now. I have some cauliflower that's kind of hanging on. It didn't really do so well this year. A ton of beets. I got a lot of beets this year and all my celery. I have three large grow bags and I did potatoes in them and they all froze. So now I'm gonna have to start over or figure something else out with the potatoes. But anyway, that's what I got going on in my garden right now. I have a ton of seedlings in the house that I'm gonna be transplanting probably in the next, I'd say within a month when we lose our very cold temperatures. But I'm hoping to have a really big spring summer garden. So anyway, just wanted to show you.